been picturing today and tomorrow. Women have been the driving force behind many a good man's rise in the world. And this is nowhere truer than at HMS Heron, where wrens go through an 18 weeks course in airmanship, meteorology and radio. No light work this, as the girls in blue fold the main plane of a Firefly fighter ready for stowing. All present and correct. Thumbs up means just the end of a task, not the start of a joyride. Estimating the strength and direction of upper air currents is one of the many highly scientific duties which these girls discharge in the interests of their shipmates aloft and its shipmates advised them, for language, procedure and discipline aboard this stone frigate are the same as at sea. Smartly, the Wren radio mechanics get the plane ready for air-to-ship signals. No try on this, but the real thing. The naval pilot will receive his signals for takeoff and land on, and all vital weather information through the slender hands of his Wren wireless operator. In this branch of the service, there are 7,000 women who never leave their stone frigates except to go aloft or ashore, whose quarterdecks are railed patches of ground near the guardroom, whose hours are sounded on ship's bells, whose buses into town are liberty boats. May a fair wind speed aloft these girls in blue, training in peace to be ready at the side of their comrades in arms to assist and to sustain them.